Okay, in order to use Sway, uh, sign into your Office 365 account. When you do, this menu will come up with the apps that are included in our Office 365 suite. What you'll do is you'll click Sway. And there's a whole bunch of things that'll come up. So for instance, these right here are all sways that my students have made or that I have made. Okay, so if I ever I want to go back to them and look at them, I just click on them and it'll come up. Or I can start from a template. So maybe I want to create a newsletter. I would click newsletter and it would actually set up a newsletter for me and I can just put my information in. Same with presentation, resume, portfolio, all of those things. But since this is a tutorial, let's start from scratch. So come up here and go to Create New. And the first thing we'll do is title our Sway. Notice that you're in the Storyline instead of the Design feature. The Storyline is where you do all of your editing. So I'm going to title my Sway. practice way. So if I go to the design and click on it, I'll see that I have a title there. Now that looks pretty boring, so I think I want to add a picture. Again, we're editing, so go back to Storyline, and I want to add some background to it. So I'll click on Background, and I can either go to my device if I'd like and pick a background picture. I can go to my OneDrive for Business, and pick a picture from one of those files, or I can actually search the internet for the picture that I want. Now Sway makes it very easy to search for your sources. Just come up to the search bar right here and put in what you're looking for. So I'm looking for something that goes well with Sway, so I'm just going to type in Sway and search. What comes up is basically anything on the internet that has to do with something that's Sway-like, whatever Sway-like is, I don't know. But um, the nice thing about this is that if this is checked, which I always have this checked, um, anything that is creative licensed or creative commons licensed, uh, basically fair use, you can use this in your Sway. So I kind of like this picture. So what I'll do is I'll take this and I will drag it over to that image. Now if we look at the design, you can click on design and this is what my first page will look like. I kinda like that, I'm happy with it. So now I wanna add more pages. I'm gonna go back to Storyline because again you do all your editing in Storyline and in order to add text or, or things like that. There's two ways you can do it. You can either click on inserting content and then put whatever kind of content you want to have in. I find it just as easy, if not easier, to go up to here and click cards. What cards shows you is all the things that you can put in there. So you can put text, you can put headers, you can put video and audio and embed codes and you can group your pictures and make grids and slideshows. For now, let's just add some text. So I'll click on text and I can add some text. So this is my practice way. Okay. You can also cut and paste if you have text on something else that you want to cut and paste, you can do that. So here's my practice way. If I'd like this to be bold, I just highlight it and hit emphasize and that'll make it bold. I can also accent it. I can, um, and that makes it italics. I can put bullets, numbers, or if I'd like to, I can have this highlighted and I can add a link to it. So here's the text that would be displayed and I'd copy and paste a link into it. Then whenever I would go out, to the internet. I, I click on that, it goes out to the internet and obviously goes to the website you're looking for. Okay, so that's how to add text. Again, if I want to take a look at my design, I can come up here, hit design, and this is what it would look like. I can use these buttons to go back and forth between my cards. Now again, we're going to edit, so we're going to go into Storyline. 
I'm in cards already. Maybe I want to add an, an image. So I'll click on image and then add image. So here I'm looking and I really don't want any of these images here. Maybe what I want to do is look for images of cats. So I type cats and these are all images of cutie pie kitty cats. So let's take a look at this one and drag it over. You can even add a caption. Okay. So now that we're done with that and we want to add something else, let's go back to our cards. Maybe now we want to add a video. So I can click on video to put the actual video in the sway. Click add video. Oops. And it's asking if you want to add video to, of cats because that was the last thing I put in here. Sway does have videos in there, so anything that has this on it will be a video that's online. But that's not the only thing you can put in there. You can also put videos from your own files. So you come up to here under suggested, click on it, and maybe I want to input a video from my device. So I click my device. I have a video here. I'm going to click on it. And now my video is being uploaded. OK. So maybe I'd like to add something else. So I go back up to cards. And I can do this while this video is, is being prepared. I can come back up to cards and continue working on my sway. Maybe I want to add a video from YouTube. I can use the embed code on YouTube to add a video. So let me go to embed and click on it. Now I go up to my YouTube videos and maybe I want to add this video right here. What I would do is I would go to share and then embed. And what will come up is the embed code right here. So you just copy that. Go back to your sway and paste the code right there. And that will embed the video into your sway. Some other cool things that you can do is you can like stack photos or make a photo slideshow. So let's look at how stacking works. We'll click on stack. And I want to add a bunch of different pictures in here. So I'm going to add some content. Let me go up to my own site, my own device. And maybe I want to add this picture. And then this picture, this picture, this picture, and this picture. I can open it. And now all of these pictures will come up on my sway as stacked. So sometimes it takes a minute to do that. So now that we're a little bit further in and we have more content, let's take a look at what this will look like. So I go to design. And right here, this is my first page. This was that text page that I made. Here's the cutie pie cat. This right here is the video that I uploaded. So if you click on it, it'll come up. There we go. The purpose of this tutorial is to okay. teach you how to use my Here's another page. This was the one that I embedded. And here are the stacked pictures that I put in. So every time you click this, another picture will come. 
So that's the basics of Sway. Now let's take a look at how if we don't like how this is set up and we want to change it, maybe we want to go to Styles. So click on Styles and maybe instead of the uh, original design that we had, maybe we want to have a design that looks something like this. Okay, let's go back to the original. Okay, or, and then maybe we're not happy with that, so maybe we click this, and we like this better. Okay, so there I just changed the style of my sway. Another thing that you can do is change how to navigate. So maybe instead of the slideshow that is highlighted where you have to click one on one, maybe I want to have it vertical. Now you basically scroll down throughout the sway. Or I can have it horizontal where I just move across the sway. Okay. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to share this. So you come up to this and you share, and you can either invite people for the link, okay? So you'd come here and you'd copy the link, and then you can send it out in an email or, or whatever you'd like to anybody that would like it. Um, there are three ways that you can do it. If you want to email it or give it to just specific people, you'd click that and then enter the email addresses of those people. If you want anybody in your organization that has the link, you can click on that and then send out a blast email of the link. Or if you want it open to the public, you'd click this and everybody um, would be able to, to see it, okay? Another thing that you can do is embed it. So you can click get embed code. And if you click that, you can embed this into your website or, or what have you, okay? So those are different ways you can share it. Another really important thing when you're sharing is if you want other people to edit it with you, you'd click, you'd give them an edit link. This way, anybody that has this link can also edit your sway. This works great for collaboration and, and things like that. So that's just the beginning of Sway. Uh, in my next video, I'll show you how to insert things like um, uh, other Sways that have been made, um, presentations, etc. But at least this will get you going.